Think about the women in your life, your mom, grandma, sister, aunt, daughter, cousin, neighbor, or coworker. Would it surprise you to hear that one of them might get or have breast cancer at some point in her life? According to the American Cancer Society, a breast cancer diagnosis happens to one in eight women. That stat was enough for me to get a screening on camera despite my own fears, especially if it means saving one life or encouraging women to get a mammogram. Sometimes that anxiety-inducing appointment you've been meaning to schedule can sit trapped at the bottom of your to-do list. Taking one life-saving high-heeled step at a time, that changed for me this pink October. Just by walking through the doors of the Hello. breast care center at LifeBridge Health at Northwest Hospital. Good. I'm at the right place. You yes, are. You are. Arriving for my 11.30 a.m. appointment along with my nerves for my very first mammogram. Welcome to the breast center. Oh, thank you. Risk assessment. Okay. Um, yep, that's it. Thank right. you. Okay, we're all set. Okay. Ready? Yes, where do I go from here? Okay. After filling out that form, I was whisked down this hallway. So how long? That's Cheryl, my technologist. Is the actual imaging going to take? Um, the actual imaging is about 10 minutes, but you'll be okay. here for about 20. Okay. So be dressing, undressing, things like that. So oh. Right in here. Okay. Once into the changing area. Choose the dressing room to your left. I'm going to grab right. a gown for you. Thank you. Okay. So can right I keep here. my pants on? You can. Okay. Just your top half off, opening the gown in the front. Okay. Do you have any deodorants, powders, or No, I, I didn't. Perfect. I did my research. And yes, I was nervous. Go okay. ahead in, and I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay. It's that singular test dreaded by some women. Just the idea of getting the scan and what the results are going to be. Hi. That was quick. Yes. Go ahead and have a seat. I answer a handful of screening questions. So first, go ahead and state your full name. It's Nikki Zizaza. And you're here for? A mammogram. Screening mammogram today, yes. right? And it is your baseline, is that correct? My first ever. Yay. Well, I'm glad you're here. Then it's time for the mammogram. So I've heard it's painful, and then some people say it's uncomfortable. So by and large, since you do these frequently, what have you heard patients say? Patients say a lot of things, but um, having had mammograms for years myself and been, have been doing this for a long time, I would say it's more uncomfortable than painful. Okay. Uh, we do use the mammo pad, so we have a soft cushion Ooh, that praise we put God. on the unit. Okay, all set? Once in the room, Cheryl positions my breast on the mammogram machine, and once properly in place, my breast is gradually compressed with a plastic paddle for only a few seconds. Should I turn my head like this? Yes, keep looking at me, relax your arms down by your sides, both arms down, and relax your shoulders. Slightly adjusting me to get a better view and image of my breast tissue. Now, as we talked about, the compression plate will come down on top of your breast. I will go behind you and take the picture, give some breathing instructions, and then this will automatically release okay. over the breast. Okay, just a couple seconds. Here we go. Hold your breath. You can breathe. While tolerance levels vary, it was more of a clamping discomfort, more than actual pain. Same compression. Okay. Just from the side here. There we go. Keep your chin up nice and high. Okay, not so bad, not so bad. You're doing great, doing great. Well, it's still there for me. Feels like like a dull discomfort. That's what, that's, that's, that's the closest thing. Hold your breath. You can breathe. Okay. All done. Okay. Wow. You did. Wow. It. Yeah. That wasn't, that wasn't as bad. Awesome. <laughs> Hold your breath again. On this monitor, she makes sure optimal images are captured. And breathe. And the process is repeated on the other side. Okay, great job. And just like that, it's over. Then back to the changing room and the waiting begins. But while I waited for my results, I sat down with radiologist Dr. Nilafar Hakakian. Our goal is to just detect it very early when we can have the best prognosis for the woman. According to the American Cancer Society, there are various breast cancer risk factors, which include getting older. Most cancers are found in women age 55 and older, inheriting certain gene mutations, having a family history of breast cancer, dense breast tissue, 
and starting menstrual periods early and going through menopause later. Plus, race and ethnicity. African-American women, they have a higher risk than normal population for breast cancer. For this population, we have to be more careful and maybe start the screening early to make sure we can catch the cancer if it develops in their breast. As for fears about the screening, Dr. Hakakian says, I think it's tolerable. Ultimately, it starts with scheduling that screening appointment first. This is really, really easy catch if we can just do it as early as possible. Now I did receive a call back for further testing and I'm told it's nothing to be alarmed about because it was my baseline screening. As I said, through my experience, the screening was not painful as I initially envisioned. Hopefully making other women feel more comfortable. Nikki, great job, thank you.